In my previous video, I showed you how to separate the alcohol from a gel hand sanitizer. Today, I have a liquid hand sanitizer. And this one is a lot thinner than the gel hand sanitizer. It's just like water. And the process to separate the alcohol from a liquid hand sanitizer like this is different than the gel hand sanitizer. The alcohol content is still 65 to 70 percent but the process to separate the alcohol from this is a little bit different and tricky so in this video I'm going to show you how to separate the alcohol from this liquid hand sanitizer for your stove fill and also in my previous video there are quite a few questions asking me where I got all of these for free so first follow me I'm going to show you how I get all of these for free I'm going to go to Chrysler's Los Angeles area, free section, and search for hand sanitizer. And you can see there are quite a few places that give this away for free. I'm also going to need some salt, so let's do a search for salt. Salt is required to separate alcohol from hand sanitizer. And as you can see, there are quite a few people giving away the salt. This is sodium chloride, so it doesn't matter if it's table salt, pool salt, or road salt. They are all the same. So today I'm going to go to one of these places to pick up the salt also for free. Alright, I just came back from my trip and I've got a whole car full of this stuff. I've got a complete set. Hand sanitizer, salt for water softener, and also hand soap. And in fact, I got so much hand sanitizer, I have to remove them from their box and put in my 55 gallon barrel. I've got enough alcohol for cooking and for camping for life. These are two bags of salt for water softener, 50 pounds each. I got it from a person who don't use his water softener anymore. So these are just pure sodium chloride. I also got some hand soap here, so these are liquid hand soap. One of the bottle broke, so it leaks out quite a bit here, but that's what it looks like. It's very useful. I put it in my foaming container and use it to wash my hand and everything. Not only do I use this to wash my hand, I use it to wash my car and also even wash my clothes and I've got a lot more than this in boxes you gotta say I don't have to buy soap for a very long time so these companies when they give away the hand sanitizer they usually also give away the hand soap too because the hand soap also has expiration date you can see here on this one here is marked expired if you worry about its efficacy because it's expired, you don't have to wash your hand. This is soap, so you can just use it to wash your car, wash your clothes, wash everything else that's not your hand. The hand sanitizers are also expired or very close to expiration date. This one here expired 1023 so it's only a few days from now before it's expired i got two kinds of hand sanitizer one that is gel so this one is very thick this one is also gel so it's, it's very thick this one here on the other hand is liquid you see how thin it is it's just like water so let me bring this inside and i'll show you how to separate the alcohol from this hand sanitizer. So here's my liquid hand sanitizer. In order to separate the alcohol from this, you're gonna need salt. Good old sodium chloride. Just like when you separate from a gel hand sanitizer. But the process is a little bit different. But first, let me show you the salt I got from the water softener salt bag. It's very big and rough so i have to grind it to a powder form to make it easy to dissolve all right let's first grind this to a powder so that it will be easy to dissolve just like that 
nice and smooth. So previously, when you mix the gel hand sanitizer with the salt, it would immediately precipitate and I could easily filter the alcohol out. Let me show you what happens when I mix the liquid hand sanitizer with the salt. Okay, so now I'm going to add the salt in there. Let me zoom in so you can see more clearly. Nothing. Let me stir it. Show you. Nothing happened. See the liquid is still clear and uh, it doesn't precipitate. This is a bottle of gel hand sanitizer. If you take a look at the ingredients, it has a lot of other thickening ingredients like acrylates, a lot of acrylates, and glycerin. When you add salt to this solution, the salt will react with all these thickening ingredients and it will precipitate and you can easily extract the alcohol out, like what you see here. So all the white stuff are the precipitates that sink to the bottom and now all I have to do is to pour the liquid out and that's the alcohol on the top. This liquid hand sanitizer doesn't have as much thickening ingredients and therefore it doesn't react well with the salt. For this one they don't actually list other thickening ingredients for it. But I put this in here and I burned it and let me show you what is left after I burned it. We have some very thick grease like wax on the bottom. There's not much oil in here compared to the gel hand sanitizer, right? Because it's so liquid. But still, we still have some oil in here. So the trick here is to use a gel hand sanitizer like this one and mix this liquid hand sanitizer 50-50. And because likes dissolve likes, right? All of the thickening ingredients from here is going to dissolve the glycerin and other thickening ingredients from here. And because I know that this one will precipitate when I add the salt, when I have 50-50 mix and add salt into the solution, it will also precipitate. And the precipitate will also pull out of the thickening ingredients from here. And all the thickening ingredients they're gonna precipitate and all I have to do is just to filter out the alcohol at least that's the plan now let's get to it I'm gonna have 50% of the liquid in here and 50% of the gel now I'm gonna mix it up real good here we go after I mix it well for about two minutes, the thickness of this is, I would say, between the two. Now let's add the salt and see the magic happens. Already you can see the liquid starts to get cloudy. Let's mix it up lightly. Get more and more cloudy. The cloudy part is the precipitate and it starts to solidify and then it will start to sink down to the bottom. You can see. So here you can see a lot of white particles they are already sinking down to the bottom. Let me show you what the precipitates look like. Very sticky and jelly precipitates. The rest of the precipitates are smaller particles suspended in the liquid. And that's why it looks cloudy right now. It's going to need some time to settle down to the bottom. I'm going to leave it overnight and come back in the morning to check it out. Alright, it's been about 12 hours and I left it overnight. 
and now you can see all of the precipitate sink down to the bottom and the liquid is crystal clear so at this point I don't even have to filter this out it's so pure on the top that is pure alcohol all I have to do now is to transfer the clear liquid which is pure ethanol to another bottle and I should be done just like that here we go crystal clear pure alcohol perfect for cooking on the alcohol stove I'm gonna go ahead and burn it and see what we have left after we burn it clear flame can't even see the flame so let me turn off the light turn off this light there we go very nice blue flame this is clean fuel and that means when you cook it on a stove it won't produce any soot we're near the end of the burn and you can see the flame is turning yellow and that's because at the bottom solution we still have some a little bit of water and sodium chloride mixed in the solution and sodium burns yellow and that's why you see the yellow flame but this flame is still going to be very clean and it won't produce any soot because it's not unburned carbon it's just sodium that's burned now that flame is out let's check out what we have here we still have some liquid left and that is just pure water and the white stuff there is salt sodium chloride and that's why you see the flame yellow there's no oil in here that means I have effectively removed all of the oil from this liquid by mixing with the gel hand sanitizer and because this is just water and salt if you use it on your alcohol stuff after you use it all you have to do is just wash it away with just water and it will be clean so there you have it how to have a clean burning feel for your alcohol stove by just mixing the gel hand sanitizer with the liquid hand sanitizer and some salt very easy to do and that's all i have for now folks thanks for watching see you next time